What's going on, everybody? It is Ripping Packs Raw, and right now I am still in Portland. I'm actually at the hotel right now. I just got back from my mom's. Um, long story short, um, I know I did a lot of pre-recorded uh, content, but uh, right now I'm dealing with hospice with my mom. And if any of you do not know what hospice is, pretty much, for lack of better words, it is um, the end of the road. Um, yeah, uh, stage five kidney disease, and uh, yeah been a rough rough week I will be honest with you um so yeah yeah not a day goes by where uh this this guy this guy right here hasn't uh been dropping some tears anyway what are we gonna rip well yeah I know you're like dude why the hell are you even making a show well I have to make a show well, I don't have to but I want to make a show because the fact of series one just hit flagship just hit and I haven't had a chance to open any of it. Now, right now at my house, I've got, uh, I think, no, a Jumbo, a Jumbo Series 1. And then I have um, some Bowman Chrome Sapphire and some Bowman Draft Sapphire. And I can't even open it yet because I'm still in the hotel. And honestly, there's a lot more things important in life than friggin' baseball cards. But I got a few minutes to kill, so went ahead and open some. So I do have three hanger boxes here. I picked them up at Target a bit uh, just the other day. So I'm going to rip open one of these right now. And then I do have a hobby box. And the hobby box I'm going to break into four different parts. And then I picked up a jumbo pack as well. So I'm going to make a handful of little clips. And these are all going to be ripping packs raw. Anyway, are you ready? Let's just go right here with the middle. Now these were, again, $11.99. This is 67 cards inside here. We're looking for the autograph or relic card. Now here is what you can and can't get. Now, sorry, guys. You know my show. You know how I do a lot of these things. Um, that is what we're looking at. That is what we're looking at for the odds. Now, we all know that hobby odds are better than retail this year, which I am fine with, to be honest with you. Because um, retail should just be for fun and to pick up occasionally when you're looking to fill a set or whatnot and maybe get lucky. Um, but anyway, I got the jumbo. The jumbo odds are great. Um, well, for what it is. Anyway, hangers or bangers? Well, hangers have the hits. Well, from what it looks like, hangers are turds this year. But either way, we're going to rip open a couple of them. Each episode is going to be a standalone episode. So you ready? There is what the odds are. Again, we are going to be looking for autographs and relic cards. Fat chance at the odds. But anyway, we got 67 cards inside of here. Retail baseball from Topps Flagship Series 1. And guess what? That's right. I am staying here at the courtyard. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and rip this open. And it's been a few minutes since I've actually ripped anything on camera because, yeah, yeah, it's, I've been producing the content, but I haven't been uh, ripping anything. So, picked, uh, was actually able to find some retail here in Portland, and it's pretty, pretty hard. Actually, in the suburbs of Portland, there is what we go. We got our fat pack of cards right there. All the stuff in the middle. Now, this is actually the first time I've opened Series 1 at all uh, of this year. So, here we go. We got ourselves. Who do we got here? We got ourselves a uh, Tough as Nails in Uncharted, so a Cleveland team card. That is going to be our first card here. And if you did wonder, that is what the back of the card looks like. That is a checklist. Tough as Nails, probably on uh, Josh Naylor. Going to go hang out down here, just a common pile. Then we did get Mark Kahana here for the Mets. Uh, Kyle Hendricks for the Cubbies. Ozzy Albies, a lot of vertical cards here. Jesse Winker there, now with the uh, Brewers. Going to go hang out down here. Did get Caleb Killian, a rookie card for the Cubbies. That is Caleb Killian. He's going to go into a rookie pile that I'm going to make right here. Yeah, this is going to be one of those weird rips. Do we get the Dodgers P uh, team card. It says even so right there. It is the team card. That's going to go hang out in the PC pile, which is going to be up here. Well, it's a weird mix. We've got the team card for the Nationals. We have the uh, we have the uh, ALA uh, AL uh, wins leaders. We have uh, Valdez, Alec Manoa, and uh, Justin Verlander. Then we did get a Judge hits off, but hits the walk off Judgment Day. That is a PC hit for me because well, it's Aaron Judge who is my PC. We got Marcel Zuna who is a piece of trash. Uh, Taylor Rogers, who I believe just traded to the Giants. Kyle Kyle Stowers there for the uh, Boston, not Boston, but the uh, Baltimore Orioles. The a uh, little bit older. It looks like it'll be a, a fourth outfielder for the Orioles this year. Got Taylor Ward for the Angels. Kyle Gibson is he still with the Phillies? I don't know. 
Got Brian Bayo for the uh, for the Red Sox, a guy who I am high on. Um, was dominant in uh, Double A and Triple A last year. Got this cup cup of coffee and pitched okay, but definitely going to be a three or four this year for us for the Red Sox. Got Keegan Thompson here for the Cubbies. We got Ryan uh, Helsey for the Cardinals, the closer for them. We did get the uh, Yankees uh, Oswaldo Para Oswald Peraza for uh, the shortstop. Looks like he might be the opening day shortstop. Depends on ooh, we got our cards right there. Our opening day shortstop we'll, for the Yankees. We'll see what happens there. But had his first Bowman and Bowman uh, last year, 2021. Did get uh, Ezekiel Duran, rookie, former Yankee, uh, now with the Rangers. Traded in the, uh, God, the, guy, um, the guy who sucked in New York. I can't remember his name, but there was Ezekiel Duran. There is Ryan Mountcastle. Now a third-year card, so not a hit in my the way I do my thing. We got Mike Yastrzemski. We have Steel Walker. Nothing screams, I'm a baseball player like Steel Walker. We got Tim Anderson. We got G-Man Choi, who I believe got traded to uh, Pittsburgh, maybe. Am I wrong? We got Hunter Brown here for the Astros going into the rookie pile. We got Brandon Drury, who is now with the Angels. Let me skip to the back here real quick. Oh, we got our ace card. Uh, just to have it ready. So we have our Brandon Drury. I just want to have our hits for the end, if you will. Uh, we have Anthony Sandhander. We have Paul Seawald here for the Mariners. To get Nolan Jones, who is now with the Rockies. He was traded like at the end of the season, so you think they could have made that fix. But there he is. The Guardians, but now with the with the uh, Rockies, Nolan Jones. Third baseman outfielder. Kettle Marte. Kim Brian Hayes. He a hit. Yeah, screw it. He's a hit. I totally haven't gotten any hits in this one. Uh, Davis Martin, rookie. Do not know much about him. Kristen Yelich. Yes, I still throw Yelly in the hits. Uh, Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Jeter Downs, rookie, now with the Washington Nationals. Uh, the Red Sox ended up cutting him. Uh, he was a 40-man roster issue, so they had to make some room. Uh, Taylor Taylor uh, Tyler Molly, former Red. Lovier Piguero, uh, who is a rookie. He got a cup of coffee, uh, went sent back down to double A, and he didn't hit much, but he is still a rookie that I am high on, uh, Lovier Piguero. Let's look at the back of the card real quick since we have the team card there. He's still a young guy. He's a shortstop, and if you see his stats right there, with uh, Altoona, he did pretty well. And then he got called up, and then he didn't do well when he went back. So who knows? But anyway, he's still a guy who I am high on. Uh, Yaz Money Grandel for the White Sox. Yandy Diaz. We have Next Generation Toronto's Young Star Celebrate. Technically, that's a hit, I guess, because it's got Bo and Vladdy in it. So put up here. Verdugo going into the PC pile. Tyler O'Neill, And then Vaughn Grissom. So we're getting some of the better rookies now. Vaughn Grissom probably going to be this opening day shortstop for the Braves. Did well as a second baseman for him. Jorge Mateo. We have Evan Lee, a rookie for the Nationals. Ricey Glacius, And, yeah, is he the? Yeah, I think he's the closer there now. Owen Miller, who got traded to the Brewers. Did get uh, Santiago Espanol for the uh, Blue Jays, the utility guy. Tyler Stevenson, hopefully he's healthy this year. Martin Perez, a uh, strong season last year. Seiya Suzuki, second year. Yeah, that goes in the hits right there. But there's Seiya Suzuki. Hopefully he's going to have a better season. He had a good season, but hopefully we have a better season there. We have uh, Steven Metz. Nick Prado, the uh, first baseman for the Kansas City Royals, rookie card. William Contreras, there with the Braves, but now with the Brewers. Brandon Crawford, who is, yeah, he's still with the Giants. You have Jonathan Aranda, there with the Tampa Bay Rays. And when we're back to our cards we had at the top there, we have Brandon Drury, like I mentioned, now with the Angels. Nathaniel Lowe had a dominant second half, man. The guy was killing the ball. We have C.J. Crone. We did get a blue parallel, which is... Oh, nothing like team leaders. A, the National League ERA leaders. We have Julio Urias, Sergio Alcantara, and uh, Max Freed. Yeah, that's our blue parallel. Mm, not cool. We did get a backwards card here. Backwards card. It is Star Powers. It is a... Uh, just uh yeah. Is that a rainbow foil? I guess it's a rainbow foil. Okay, cool. It's a team team uh, PC hit, at least for me. Dodgers core stays loose for pregame, so that is a PC hit right there. Even though a couple of those guys are not there anymore, but we did get a rainbow foil and a blue parallel. It goes over there to the PC pile. Then we did get our stars. Then we have Alex Bregman, who I do call a hit, so there. Then we have Fernando Tatis. Yep, he's still a hit in my eyes. Ozzy Albies is not a hit. He, and then we did get Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman there for the ass, for the... Uh, for the um, Cardinals. Second baseman, he's originally third baseman because of Nolan Arenado. He'll end up being a utility guy, maybe, but 
Then we got Garrett Cole with the 88 tops and Luis Castillo with the aces insert. Let's look at the Garrett Cole 88 tops. Sticks to the 88 tops design. So we're just, he's not a hit either way. So we'll put you over here. And then the aces card, which all aces. I will say those are pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking card. There's the uh, Mariners ace, former Reds ace. But there you go. There is hanger box number one. Let's go over the rookies here real quick. The rookies we did get. As I pull them off the, the uh, desk that I have here at the hotel. Uh, Nolan Gorman, Jonathan Aranda, Nick Prado, Evan Lee, Vaughn Grissom is a hit. Lovio Peguero is a hit. Jeter Dan, sorry, I love you, but no. Davis Martin, uh, Nolan Jones, is he's kind of iffy. Hunter Brown, uh, Steel Walker, Ezekiel Duran, yes. Oswaldo Peraza, yes. Brian Bayo, yes. Kyle Stowers, no. And then Caleb Killian, maybe a hit, but he's a pitcher, as we all know. That's what we got for the rookies. For the hits, which again, you know I'm loose. We got uh, Fernando, we got Bregman, we got Seiya Suzuki second year. We got uh, Bo and Vladdy hugging it out. We got Yelich and uh, what's his butt? Um, uh, Cabrian Hayes. So again, we did get two, two parallels. We did get the uh, blue, royal blue team leader card. And again, those are just base, uh, base parallels. It's not insert. I mean, it's not numbered or anything like that. Um, and then the rainbow foil of the Dodgers team card. Now, again, I'm just since I'm not doing any special because it's just raw, the rainbow foils are one out of two, and the royal blues are one out of three packs. Um, the aces, well, I'm not going to look that hard for it, but either way, it's a you know, I don't know, but I do like it. So, there you go, there is your ripping packs raw hanger box number one. I'm going to upload this and then I will uh, do another episode and I'm gonna. Up that, upload that here in a bit. Uh, not today, but maybe, well, maybe later on, but either way. Thank you so much for watching Rip and Packs Raw. Uh, wouldn't be here if you weren't watching and subscribing, so thank you so much. Uh, and liking and notification bell. You know what? Leave a comment, but I'm going to do like about eight or nine of these, so I will drop them when I drop them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Rip and Packs. Give your love to all your family, and until then, always rip some packs.